Primitives are classes that add additional behavior to elements in your Angular application. Usage of Angular built-in directives will help you manage forms, lists, styles, and what users see. Hello everyone, I, Bhavita, welcome you to this session on Angular Switch. So without further ado, let's get started. But before we get started, let's look into the agenda for today. We're going to start off this session by understanding what is Angular ng switch and then look at the types of switch directives. With that, we'll also see the creation of ng switch. Now, before we go ahead in our today's session, make sure you subscribe to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to never miss an update. Also, if you're interested in online training certification, do check out the link given in the description box below. Firstly, what exactly is an ng switch? Now, before we understand what is ng switch, I would like you to understand what is structural directives. So basically, structural directives are directives which change the structure of the DOM by adding or removing elements. Now, let's understand what is ng switch. ng switch is a form of structural directive which is used to add or remove DOM element. Now, it is perhaps a type of structural directive. Now, in other words, it can also be used to combine with ng switch case and ng switch default. Now, these are also structural directives. While ng switch is an attribute directive that changes the behavior of its companion directives. Now, here, as you can see, we have taken an example as to how ng switch looks in our UI side. Now, let's look at the syntax of ng switch. So basically here, I've considered ng switch alone, along with it, the syntax for ng switch case and ng switch default. What exactly is ng switch case and ng default will be addressed further in our session today. With that, let's move on and understand the types of directives. The first type, as we've already addressed, is ng switch. Now basically, in ng switch, every view matches will be rendered. Now this can also be termed as HTML element, which will be displayed only if the expression inside the ng switch directive returns true. Otherwise, it will be hidden. And it is also supported by all the HTML elements. The next type we have is ng switch case. Basically, it stores the HTML template to be selected on match, meaning it provides a switch case expression to match against an enclosing ng switch expression. Basically, when the expression match, the given ng switch case template is being rendered. And if multiple match expressions match, then the switch expression value is displayed among all of them. We'll understand deeper into it further ahead. With that, let's look at the third type and the final type of switch, which is ng switch default. So basically, it creates a view that renders when no ng switch case expressions match with ng switch expression. This statement should be the final case in any ng switch. Now, let's take a deep dive into each of its case. ng switch for first. The ng switch actually works in conjunction with ng switch case and ng switch default directives. It is similar to switch statement of your JavaScript. Now we can actually look into ng switch, ng switch case all in deep here. Speaking of ng switch in particular, it is bound to container element like div. Now div here in the example that I've shown is considered as the container element. So we basically assign a switch expression to the ng switch via property binding syntax. Angular basically evaluates the switch expression at runtime and based on its value, it displays or removes the elements from the DOM. So this is how basically our ng switch works. Now the next thing we have is ng switch case. Now here in ng switch case, it is bound to an inner element, which we must place inside the container element that is inside our div. Now we use asterisk symbol because it is a structural directive. We also assign a match expression, which Angular evaluates at runtime. 
the angular displays the inner element only when the value of the match expression matches the value of the switch expression else it is removed from the dom now if there is more than one match then it displays all of them it should also be noted here that ng switch case does not hide the element but it removes them from the dom unlike our ng switch the next thing that we have is our ng switch default now ng switch default is also bound to an inner element which must place inside the container element again inside our div but it does not have any match expression again unlike our ng switch case now if none of the ng switch case match expression that is whatever is there in our div matches the switch expression then the angular displays the element attached to the ng switch default so basically you can place ng switch default anywhere inside the container element our div and not necessarily at the bottom so you're free to add more than one ng default directive angular displays all of them now here again i would like to mention some of the important points right before we jump into our creation that is you must place ng switch case and ng switch default inside the ng switch directive also angular displays every element that matches the switch expression now if there are no matches angular displays all the elements which has ng switch default directive so basically you can place one or more than ng switch default anywhere inside the container and not necessarily at the bottom now you can also share the template between multiple ng switch case using the ng template outlet with that let's jump ahead into the creation of ng switch now to start off with our creation of switch firstly we're supposed to create component in angular now to understand the creation of project and component in angular i would leave a link to angular components and angular creation of first project by edureka you can check it out now let's move ahead so firstly i've created project known as project itself so in order to create switch it is just as easy as we create switch in any other javascript or any other programming language so firstly what i'm going to be doing is let me go ahead into my template file let's create a div tag here and here in my div let's go ahead and create an ng switch and my ng switch property is going to be candidate now i'm going to select candidate 1 2 3 as my statements now here let me go ahead and give my switch case statements ng switch case let's say 1 now make sure you give your star operator and then my statement could be select selecting candidate 1 now similarly let's go ahead and give the switch case statement for each of our statements here candidate 2 and similarly candidate 3 now i'll save this i'm going to redirect myself into component here i'll give my candidate as 1 close the statement i'm going to save this now let me give my compilation command to understand all of this again you can find the link given below now it's compiled successfully let's go ahead and see our output in our browser now as you can see here as i have given my candidate number as 1 it says candidate number 1 is been selected now why don't we go ahead and change our number that is our value with that we should see changes of this value which means change of switch case statement so let's go ahead and see that now here i'm going to say 2 now according to our statement it should switch to statement 2 now let's see the output as said it's changed to 2 similarly let's see 3 i'm going to say 3 save this as you can see 3 now the next thing is to tell the compiler as to what should be printed if nothing is there in the 
switch case statements. Now for that, we have to use switch default. So let's go ahead and see that. Now to add switch default, you just have to add one more statement, which is div ng switch default. You don't have to add any particular condition, just give the statement which says, please select a candidate. Now I want the default to be selected when I have none of the switch cases satisfying. So which means I am supposed to change the value to something else, but the ones that is already given. So I'm just going to say four. So here in my template, I have not mentioned any switch case with four as my value. Hence, I'm going to say four here. I'm going to save this. Let's go ahead and see what is the output. As expected, it says, please select a candidate. Now this is because we have added a default. So with this, we have come to end of today's session and I have covered all the switch scenarios here in this session today. I hope that was clear. And if you have any doubts regarding today's session, you can comment down below and we will answer at the earliest until we meet again next time. Happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!